All right. Well, today, I'm going to cover that up. Bought this plate. Going to measure it, cut it across, stick it up in there. <clears throat> We're going to stick it on the inside and just bolt it. And we'll put another hole here. And we're doing it that way. So in the future, if we were to sell this thing or anything like that, and we wanted to put this back together, we could. We would just pull that plate off and bolt it and put the heater box back on there. Um, otherwise, we would be welding it on there, but we're just going to plate it, bolt it, and be done with it. So, let's get it done. going to do is I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to put silicone behind it on the metal then we'll tighten it all up and I'll drill the final hole in the very center and put the bolt through it and tighten it up but I just want to get that plate on there it's pretty thin and I cut everything you know not the way you're supposed to this little doodad here is going to be for right in this area. I I just dropped it. But anyways, that's what it's for. It's to fill in this hole here. We'll probably do the smart thing and have Micah do it. Because I think he would... He, he, I don't think I know... He's a better welder than me. So that'll fill that in because that won't be anything to cut out if we need to, to put the uh, heater back in if we ever decide to do that in the future. But anyways, let's uh, go ahead and go back to fast mode and I'll pull that off and put silicone all over the inside, stick it up in there, then we'll glue it. And there it is. So. That wiring would be removed. It's, well, I said removed, just gonna be moved out of the way. And we'll clean up that area really good and paint it, but all that right there doesn't, it's not happening right now anyways. Um, it happened soon, just not right now. But either way, we did get that hole done. So that's, that's one good thing out of the way. Now to, to see what I'm gonna do next. We'll have to decide. Um, parts are coming in. Engine is getting painted. But uh, I don't know know what else we're going to do this evening. Most likely going to continue cleaning up on all this area here. So. It looks terrible. But, but what we're going to do with it, it'll be fine. It covered the hole. And the cracks are stopping. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bond on it because it's going to be with the hood. None of that's really going to matter. All that's to do is to keep it from cracking out more. So I'm going to keep 
get anything coming off the tire up inside the engine bay. So I think we'll be all right. But uh, now we got to start wire well and everything so we can start getting it primed. And then we'll start getting, well, we to wrap everything so it'll get all covered. But progress is progress. We'll look and see what we're going to do about uh, anything else today. Because I'll tell you right now, it's 104 and Dave here's tired. brown primer so put some gray on there um this isn't <coughs> this isn't the bit the end of it you know we're going to paint it but all this right here mainly is for is just to kind of keep it together for now because it'll be getting a um this one will actually be getting repainted the body and everything. And I think when we go to do that, we'll probably get new fenders for it and all that. So the main thing that's right here, and somebody else will be doing it. I am not going to be doing it. But again, all this right here is, is just to try to um, keep the keep the uh, the rust down to a minimum for now. And then in the future, in the future, we'll get her in the body shop and actually get all the paint done to it. But anyways, <clears throat> that's it for tonight.